Wow, hello everyone and welcome back to Life of Founders, welcome back to my channel. As you know, my name is Polo and I love making videos of dolls, toys and Disney collectibles. And as always, if you like this kind of content and if you like supporting the channel, well, feel more than welcome to subscribe to it and that way you will not be missing out on any of my future videos. Now, today we're going to be having a close look at the high definition pictures of the upcoming, just literally in no time um a limited edition uh doll of tinkerbell celebrating the 70th anniversary of peter pan now at first i thought this doll would be like a standard 11 inches and a half um size but apparently it's going to be one of the bigger um sizes so about 16 inches or so which it might feel a little weird, especially for Tinkerbell, because she's such a tiny uh, character in reality. But it's cool at the same time, because I think we don't have any uh, doll uh, of Tinkerbell um, that's been made around this size. Um, although, I have to say that being 16 inches, I would have been expecting to have a little bit more detail um if that makes sense because i um have in my collection the uh previous designer uh 2011 or 2012 one and that one has already so many great details and it's only 11 inches and a half so probably for this size um it might feel a bit i don't know um, I mean, it's cool because it's very close to how we depict her in the movie and um, But then at the same time, it's going to be a big doll So they could have added little things here and there to make it a little bit more luxurious I don't know um, If I get this doll, I will definitely be unboxing her and showing you the up close details um she's very pretty though so um and i love the packaging because the packaging this time has like the window display in for in the shape of a locker um a keyhole um and that is just so uh crazy cool and um and then not only on the front but in both sides we can actually find the same pattern and uh, yeah i think it's it's really nice as a displaying case uh, really and then um the background is basically just like start well pixie does i guess um and a baby blue color I think that the wings are exactly the same as the wings that we've seen before for the um, um, any other 11 inches and a half Tinkerbell doll, uh, but this time they're going to be bigger and um, she looks very sweet. I have to say she looks very sweet. Um, and, and then the, the, the hair this time is going to be having a little bit more of a brassy color to it than um, how I can picture it really from the movie and hair movies. Uh, I think that the hair should, should be a little bit more platinum, um, which was the case of the first designer one. But... It wasn't the case for the holiday um, doll this year or the previous year um, and this one, although it's close enough, um, she has minimal makeup, um, they've used the same sculpt as a, in a 11 inches and a half doll, so that's pretty cool, they have not reused any other sculpt as they did for Alice for example, um, that they took I believe Snow White sculpt and then and Cinderella for the very first one and then they made the whole screening on top of that. Um, she has a couple of flowers uh, decorating her hair. Uh, the band is done in a very similar way as the last holiday doll and then she has like two little uh, curls hanging down um, on each side. And the dress is beautiful. Uh, this time they've added a little like petticoat uh, of a netting material. 
that's burgundy in color and then um, she has beautiful embroidery on both the bodies and the skirt and then there is a little couple of charms that are hanging down from one of the sides in which we can also see a little flower so anyway it's a really beautiful um, doll I, th I think I would have preferred it to be smaller, but um, now that I think about it, it's pretty cool to have a Tinkerbell doll that's actually this size. So just let me know what you think about uh, these pictures. Will you be getting her? Are you excited about this release? Um, if so, I would love to know. And for now, I just really hope you've enjoyed this quick update. And if so, uh, well, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. As always, I'll be more than happy to get back to all of you. Uh, for now, stay safe and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.